Santiago and this is my second exhibition. It's happening here in Dubai. First day when we got to the event, I got completely shocked how huge was the exhibition. I tried to walk the whole thing the first day, but I couldn't. It was really, really, really huge. This time, the painting I brought over, it's called Assembling. What inspired you to do like the puzzle way you did the painting? What inspired me was the humans because we are all made by pieces. And then I got myself and then I took a photo of myself and like I actually I took a photo of my like hand as well. So I, I started painting over the, the photo I took. That was the, the inspiration behind and then we are all made by pieces. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for the interview. You're welcome. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Amazing man. <laughs> The main thing behind assembly is that we are all pieces. We are all pieces. Like it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you go, we are all pieces from the same puzzle. Hello, my name is Marcel. I'm a calligraphy artist. I'm from Hungary. In the last six years I live in Dublin and I work as a tattoo artist was really nice to, to meet with uh, different artists all around the world, especially with calligraphers. It was absolutely amazing to have a nice exchange, talk, talking about techniques, styles, how they make things, how they create, how they, how they work actually. It was really nice to, to see them, to be interested, how, I, how do I work? Calligraphy is a bit of dark spot of art, but I think when you, when you get to understand the beauty of the letters and the styles, it's absolutely incredible and it's just absolutely amazing to express yourself just with letters or just with strokes. The second day, Patricia allowed me and Marcel to do like a live painting We set up two easels facing each other. We were painting at the same time. It was a really, really nice moment. So people would just stop by and then ask. And then I was in the middle of my painting and then I would stop and talk to them in a completely different way. And then after going back in and painting more, stop and go talk to people all the time. This like crazy thing happening. It was really, really fulfilled, man. I, I just like, I felt fulfilled in the end of the thing. It was really nice to see people stopping by, looking at my canvas, looking at what we are doing, asking questions about it.
opportunity to get involved with like three friends of mine, Japa and Paulo. I'm so happy to share the stand with them because they are really, really good. They know what they are doing and I'm just already buzzing for the next one to come. Me and Marcel, we had a like, completely different and crazy idea. We just decided to have like three canvases drilled into each other so we could do a collab, like painting at the same time. And then I really feel comfortable with Marcel because we are used to work together. We just like did loads of collabs together as well. So that was a really, really opportunity for us to showcase our paintings. Unfortunately, I didn't see the people because they were behind us. I felt that was a lot of people looking at us and they were really interesting what we are actually doing there. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really beautiful. I'm supporting different groups. That's cool. Yeah. That's really nice. They like me. That's so cool. That's nice. Yeah. When I first got the invitation from this Fumato to exhibit my canvas in Dubai, I got like really emotions, like I got completely delighted by it, but like I didn't know what was going to be. But I knew that I was expecting buildings, skyscrapers, luxury cars and all. But I ended up going to a completely different way of Dubai. I went to the old Dubai where it's really cultural. You got to sail to the other side of the land. You're gonna go there. It's really, really cultural. It's not nothing compared to what, what you see in Dubai, the skyscrapers and all. Oh yeah, <laughs> you see this one. What, what, what's this one? Turmeric, curcuma, Arabic spice. Curcuma? Yeah. This all organic spice, not normal spice. Organic yeah. ones, yeah. like amazing. We make saffron. You know saffron? Saffron, yeah. Saffron work for health. Arabic summa, used for salad, for raita, for soup. Mm. Nice. You know dry cranberry? Fucking good. Yeah. Dry cranberry powder. That, that smells really good, man. That smells really good. Tastes also good. Oh, yeah, can I can taste it. Coriander. Yeah, that my mom used to cook. 
Cheers, Cheers. that's your cook. What is this? No touch. No what touch. I have no idea what's that. Close one. eyes. Mento. No, what do? Make fresh and clean. How you feel? Many clean. <laughs> this one, natural eucalyptus. No, so that's fucking crazy, man. Man, really thank you, man. Appreciate it. I felt like I just got dropped in a in a different world, extremely, extremely different and incredibly colorful and beautiful with the culture and uh, the whole place here. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs>